Hi, I'm Ron Kennedy, and I'm a artist in living in Nevada County, and I've been doing artwork for, oh, I'd say I just pulled a drawing out that was 50 years old, so, uh, uh, and somebody just bought it, too. I think of Nevada County as being an artist colony. We are a group of, you know, it's like if you go to Hollywood and you sit at a diner, you're gonna, and the waitress comes over here and you ask her what she really does, she'll say she's an actress or she works in the film business or she does this or that. If you come to Nevada County and you go to a diner, which we don't have, but we have restaurants sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if any of them are open, but, uh, you ask somebody what they're doing and they're either going to tell you two things. They're going to say, I'm either a therapist or I'm an artist. And that, that's what we have in this county, a very unique county, very unique group of people that, that live here. Why I'm here and doing this is that I did, I entered a show with the local indigenous Nishinan tribe. The group is called Chirp and uh, they took one of my paintings and I'm part of their show and they've asked me to explain some of the things that I did with them. And what was interesting about that uh, setup was that I got to interview uh, the head of the group, which is uh, Shelley Covert, and I got to ask her questions about what she'd like to see on a painting about the tribe, because it's you know, you're just kind of walking into, well, here's the tribe, do something, do some artwork. Well, I, I don't work that way. I get involved in, <clears throat> I get involved in uh, knowing about the people I'm working with, the situations I'm trying to express, the big ideas I'm trying to put out. And that helps me understand what to paint. This was a forced change and I really, appreciated that at the time because I needed it at the time. And then trying to understand a culture and just explaining the culture through, vi through the visual aspect without writing a story about it, just the vision and have people come up with their own ideas of what they're seeing because you've given them that leeway. You've given them some little, some little uh, uh, markers that they can they can appreciate through their own eyes and their own life. So this was this was a really pleasant experience for me to do. Uh, it wasn't. It took a long time because the work for the Nishinan painting, you know, there's a lot of research involved and, and and redoing of the the rattles are a little bit difficult to paint and and and. Uh, making sure they're accurate. I did not want to um, do something that wasn't real for the tribe. I wanted to make sure that what I did was accurate so that people could relate to and say, oh, that's, that's a rattle, that's a feather, that's a condor. And, and it, it took a while to get it right. I'm standing here in front of two paintings from two different indigenous about two different indigenous cultures. One, the Nishinan from, from Nevada County, California, and the other one is from Tanzania, the Maasai culture. But I wanna start here. I did this painting for CHIRP, the Nishinan tribe organization. And this was part of a show that will be uh, will be sh will be shown virtually in the coming days. But when I did it, um, it was done uh, as an expression of what the tribe means to me and the people in the tribe. I met with a uh, spokesperson, Shelley Covert, and I asked her, who she admired and who was an inspiration for her. And she basically said, Bell, Bell Douglas, who I used here. And she said, I carry a picture of Bell in my car amongst all these other things that are rattling around in, in everybody's cars. Uh, and she was an inspiration for me because a hundred years ago, 
She was the person that advocated for the tribe. The tribe has been much maligned over the years. It's a 12,000 year old tribe that now is down to 144 or so members. Uh, they've had a very hard time existing here and that's why I wanted to do something positive for them. Right after I did this painting, I was contacted by a fellow in Tanzania. And he wanted me to paint the, uh, the um, culture and life of the Maasai people. He was a, he's a Maasai, he's a Maasai uh, man. He's a photographer too, so he t sent me some pictures about it. And I got to see what the tribe did in terms of their accoutrements. I painted this picture of the Maasai women who adorned themselves with amazing jewelry and fabric and color combinations that are really different from what we're used to here. And, but they are, you know, I took some liberties. I took some liberties with the color of the sky and, and other things like that. But basically I kept pretty authentic in terms of their markings and their fabric and how they put themselves together uh, and what they, how they uh, adorn themselves. But what, what I found to be interesting about the whole thing and what prepared me to do 12 paintings for the Maasai was the work I did for the Nishinans uh, and got me to understand that there are certain things that are important that are different from the people that we see every day on the street and they need to be uh, they need to be highlighted they need to be shown with the people they need to be shown in the environment and I took that same understanding to working with the Maasai's and and uh, was able to put together a uh, 12 piece exhibition of uh, the different parts of their lifestyle. So I'm very appreciative to having the opportunity to work with our local group, which led me to working with a group that are thousands of miles away. Thank you.